it's pom pom polished here back with another swatching video this uh today we are swatching august 2020 polish pickup uh polishes that i got and this the theme was weird science and i would say safely that it was these are all kind of like 80s ish movies type thing um you'll kind of see from some of the names of the polishes that they kind of like are uh hint back to like the 80s and whatnot, movies and whatnot. So you'll kind of understand as we go. So, um, so yeah, so Weird Science is the theme of the August Polish Pickup. Um, of course, that time is come and gone. We ordered them in August, got them in the beginning of September. That's kind of how Polish Pickup works. You get them at the beginning of one month and you get them at the beginning or right before the beginning of the next month. So it's about a three week turnaround time. Um, it's the first Friday of the month through the Monday. Um, so the new polish pickup for December is actually going to be starting this Friday and will end on Monday. So 4th through the 7th. Um, you'll have through Monday night to pick your polishes. Um, this month's theme is, um, oh gosh, just popped right out of my brain. Um, everything is fine. Everything is fine kind of relating to the whole like 2020 is a big dumpster fire type situation. Um, that's kind of what it's hinting towards. Anyway, so everything is fine is the 2020, December 2020 polish um, theme. So anyway, um, there's a lot of cool polishes there. So you can check them out on the um, polishpickup.com website. Um, enter to sign in. Now, right now they're doing wish listing where you can put everything in a wish list and then... Um, and then on the day of the sale starting, you can go into your wish list and you can put add all to cart and it'll add everything from wish list into your shopping cart and then you can just check out. And it's super easy and fast and, and then you'll have all the polishes you want. Some polishes do have uh, caps, as in they only make so many polishes of that color and then anything beyond that, um, you know, obviously you couldn't get it. So it just kind of depends on the polish and the maker. Um, these are all small bash polishes for the most part. Um, I had to see that in August I got a lot of, I must have been feeling purple. Purple is my favorite color, but I must have been really feeling it because I got a lot of purple polishes. <laughs> um, as you can see, no polish on my fingernails. Right now I'm just, um, repping my, uh, Anchor and Heart Mermaid Tears. This one is Tangerine Gelato scented. It's delightful. Anyway, Mermaid Tears is a deep nutrition base coat, five free. Um, really, really nice. Just trying to grow my nails out stronger. So that's about it. Um, let's go ahead and get into these swatches. So the first one we're gonna have is gonna be EDK. And they're bringing us a polish called De uh, the DeLorean. DeLorean. So it's this really cool, almost creamy base with these almost opalescent shifting flakies. Pretty cool polish. So let's put this down. So usually I'll start with one, get one on there, and I'll start another one, and then we'll go back and do second and third coats, just kind of depending on what it requires to become um, opaque. So this one is really on there tight. Now, if you were interested in getting any of these polishes, these polishes could still be available not through Polish Pickup, but rather through one of the, the Polish Pickup fan sites through Facebook. So you can search Polish Pickup on Facebook and you'll come up with like Polish Pickup BST chat, um, where you can do like an in search of or a um, D stash posts. And so that's how you'll see people getting rid of polishes. So this is the first coat in of, of EDK's DeLorean. I need to get a different matte, something that's more opaque, so I can show the colors against it. That's really pretty. Can't wait to put a second coat on that, build up those flakies. And then there's also, looks like holographic shimmer, shimmer in there too. This looks so pretty.
This one is going to be Stellachroma. Stellachroma is a beautiful periwinkle polish with um, multicolor shifting flakies. This one is going to be Recreational Chemistry. Recreational Chemistry. This is really cool. And here's one coat. Goes on nice and light. You can really build this up to whatever you're wanting out of it. That's really pretty. Go in the second coat of this EDK polish here. I feel like I need the like the fatter tops of the polish caps so that I can actually grab onto them better. So earlier today I did post um, on YouTube my July polish pickup rewind um, haul with swatches and so you can look for that on YouTube as well. So here's here's coat number two that is just super cool. It's just like almost like a vintage gold vibe happening. Super pretty. We'll see what we get out of the second coat of this Stilichroma. Really builds up the purple on the second coat here. Now for, I always tell people with, with short nails, you can usually get away with three coats of most, or excuse me, two coats of most polishes. And people with long nails, depending on how you like it to look on the end that's hanging over, will depend on how you like to, whether you want a third coat or not. So this is two coats. And I have short nails, so I don't really typically have a lot of end to, you know, have hanging off, so it's not that big of a deal for me. It's really pretty. We'll put a third and final coat here on this one. On DeLorean by EDK is Malta De Kelly. Gorgeous. Definitely like antique kind of vibes. If you've ever seen Back to the Future, that's where DeLorean comes from. It's the kind of car he used as their base for their time travel car, it was a DeLorean. I think at one time, when I was just a little bit younger, uh, I had some interest in possibly owning a DeLorean. I thought that would be really cool. But now that I have kids and I'm like, I don't think a two-door space car is probably what would fit my lifestyle. <laughs> So Stella Chroma, Recreational Chemistry, loving this periwinkle purple color. And it really built up to that third coat. That's really pretty. Loving it. Getting all the colors coming out in the light. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Starting on the next one, we're gonna do top shelf lacquer and they're gonna have Chet Happens. So if you've ever watched the movie Weird Science, Chet is the older brother that's always harassing those guys. The friends. It's one friend's big brother. He's kind of a jerk. Anyways, his name is Chet. He's a military dude. Anyway, it's kind of a funny... He's got kind of a funny place in that movie. Anyway, we're gonna paint this one on here. I really like thick brushes, so I know some people, everybody has like a, I feel like a different feeling about the type of brush that they like polishes to have. Ooh, that gave us a chunk of purple flake there. So you can see all the difference, like green and purple. It's pretty multicolored shipping flakies, but they, you see a lot of purple come out in there. So that's what you'll see on here too. That's what stands out. It's really pretty, really pretty. Let's put another This one's gonna be super, excuse me. I could tell you before I want to do this last. It's Supernatural Lacquer. It's gonna be the Incredible Pants. And this one is cool. It's um, a purple with a, almost like a blue purple shimmer. Look at that, it's actually in the camera. <laughs> 
Hello, newbie. <laughs> I haven't really been doing this this long, that long, however you want to say it. It's just kind of a fun hobby for me. I just like sharing my polishes with other people. Now I have seen similar polishes to this before, but not exactly that shade of purple. Very pretty. This little first coat lays down kind of a really nice light lilac-y purple color with a blue. Shifting shimmer, blue turquoise shimmers. It's very pretty. Let's put a second coat of top shelf lacquers, Chet Happens. And again, you can look for these on the polished pickup fan sites on Facebook. Um, you can do in searches, in search of, or watch people's D stash, D stash posts um, where they're getting rid of polishes, and sometimes you'll see them there. You can also contact makers if they didn't have a specific cap or sell out of the stock they had. Sometimes they get rid of it other ways. So this is Chet Happens. Really pretty chocolate brown color with multicolored shifting flakies. I didn't think that the flakies would show up that nicely in the brown polish, but that is really cool. That is a really nice color for fall for sure. And so for me with short nails, I two coats would be more than enough. If I had long nails, I think I would want to do just one more coat. We'll see what we build up to on the second coat of Supernatural Lacquer. Oh yes. That's pretty. Supernatural Lacquer is the incredible pants. Now you see that purple building up. It's still got that lilac-y shift to it with the turquoise blue shimmer shift. It's very pretty. Very nice. That'd be a really fun spring for your nail polish, I feel like. Let's put a single coat down at the next one here. This one's going to be Pampered Polish. And its name is Science Rules. Pampered Polish Science Rules. This is another purple Purple with, this looks like blue shimmer, and then pink, like flat glitters, almost. Almost like little dots. I always call me, I always say, I always say that they look like little seeds. We'll see what this one gives us on the first coat. Ooh, that's neat. So right out of the gate, we get a ton of the blue, almost ultraviolet looking. And then little, uh, little pink ones in there, it's super cute. And you might not be able to see them on this first coat, it might be kind of tough. It's really pretty. That's very nice. It's kind of hard to differentiate it when I have it next to the other purple polish, but. All right, let's see what a final coat of Chet Happens does here. Now these, these polishes that have flakes and glitters that kind of, like this is not completely even on top when you, when it comes down to it, like you might have some of the flakes or glitters sort of sticking out, making a rough surface. You can do a, you can, you can use something like Glisten and Glow's Glitter Grabber, it's called, and that just settles in and makes a flat surface after you've put on your glitter polishes. So it's kind of nice if you like that, you know, smooth surface over glitter things, which I definitely do. I don't know, it's something about the texture of it, if you don't, makes it seem like the glitter is gonna fall off, even though it's not gonna fall off on a nail polish. I think it's just like a mind thing. That's so pretty, look at that chocolate brown really coming out here. And then you really see those multicolored flakies coming out. Super pretty. Um, anyways, you put that on and it'll give you a smooth coat over the glitter and then you can just stick your top coat on to, right over top of that. It really makes a nice finish. Ooh, now this third coat really turned up the look of the purple with the, now it really looks a lot more green turquoise. So this is Supernatural Lacquer, The Incredible Pants. So it really turned up the turquoise shift. If you can see it. It's always hard for me to tell what you guys can and can't see from my angle, because I film with my phone. Very nice. 
All right, let's do a get a second coat of coin. Actually, let's do a first coat of this next one. This next one is going to be by Danny Vienna. I love her polishes, by the way. Hers is called Carbonation, and you can see it just looks like root beer or Dr. Pepper or cola in there, and then the glitters are like the bubbles. It's so neat. These little ones are so hard for me to grab onto, I think. I don't know. Maybe some arthritis or something. So this just looks like a looks like it's got a bubble from the pop, like a pilled, spilled pop on it. That is super neat. Really like that a lot. Let's do a second coat of Pampered Polishes Science Rules. Again, more of that pink and blue kind of coming out. The darker the base coat gets, then the more you can see those other pieces to the puzzle. So hopefully it's coming up better. So we're good at that one. Super pretty. Very nice. Love it. Do a second coat of this one here, carbonation. Got a few more of those. Six-sided glitters, it looks like, maybe. It's neat. This really looks like bubbles. It looks just like you have pop for fair not polish. That is so cool. It's just a neat effect. I have, that's a great idea. All right, we're gonna put a first coat down of another one here. This one's gonna be uh, painted. This painted polish. Yeah, I don't know why I, don't why I doubted myself, but painted polish, that's what I get for putting the number over the top of it. Oh, yeah, I number my polishes, it's just easy to put them away then. Salt Lake Serenity, I could not pass this polish up, look at this. That is so cool. Red, gold, pink, green, shifting flakies and a periwinkle base, yes please. Again, I feel like I got a ton of purples this time around. So Salt Lake Serenity, first coat is laying down a nice little, just really light base of that periwinkle, periwinkle, and you can really see those pretty flakies. Very nice. We're gonna put down a third coat of our Pampered Polish Science Rules. Reminds me of that song by the B-52's Love Shack. For love rules. Anyway, I can't sing it because I think they get like copyright striked or whatever. I'm not interested in all that. I don't need no trouble, okay? So we definitely have those, you can see those pink and ultraviolet blue colors and that purple. It almost, once you get it on a couple coats, really looks like more of a warm purple color. That's pretty striking. It's very nice. Let's do a third coat on this carbonation color. Really deepened up that cola looking color. Takes on a few more of the little bubble litters. That was by Danny Viana, Carbonation. So, that is just really cool. I just really love that effect. 
Again, another great polish for this time of year. Super neat. I really like that. Let's do first coat in of another polish here. This is gonna be Kathleen and Company. Super Ionic. Super Ionic. This one's gonna be a stunner. This is definitely gonna be a blurple color. And again, we'll be able to count them all when we're done. But tons of blue purples. I think I was having a moment. Oof, it's gonna be pretty. So you can see it's like it's like a purple base with like blue shifting shimmer, blue purple shifting. It looks like satin in a bottle. It's so pretty so pretty so you can really see that just it's just gorgeous it's like satin fabric so pretty and we'll do another coat of painted polish salt lake serenity Ooh, the second coat's really making this look really opalescent and gorgeous. I love opalescent polishes. Polishes. I can't really see those shifty flakies. Look at that. Mm, so pretty. It really brings out the purple, gold, and kind of orangey colors. Just like you would if you saw an opal stone. Every once in a while you'd see a green, which you can in here as well. Really gorgeous. Just put a second coat of this one. This Super Ionic by Kathleen and Company. Super Ionic. I have no idea what that means. This one, if you're putting coats on, you need to make sure you get enough on their polish brush, otherwise it'll leave strokes. And it does settle some, but your it directs the way your satiny shimmer goes, so it's kind of different. Super pretty. I'm gonna put down a coat of this another one here. This one's gonna be Crazy Rick. I think this is a Rick and Morty inspired polish. This is really pretty. This is gonna be by Penelope Luz. Penelope Luz. I don't know if you're really able to. It's all like this opalescent shimmer plus gold flakies in this really cool, it looks like it's a warm blue base. Ooh. That first coat out is really cool, and these you can see that it's so pretty. So, this is by Penelope Luz Crazy Rick. This one here. Again, I can't tell how great you guys can see these because of the angle at which I have to look at my camera. Put a third final coat of this painted polish. Salt Lake Serenity color. Hmm, I really sealed the deal on that purple background color. Wow. And we do the three polish coats for those people that have longer nails. Because I don't. So I don't tip, usually have to do three coats of really any polishes. So we're looking at this one here. It's super pretty. Very beautiful. I really like that a lot. And every purple has its own character. Character and characteristics. This is Kathleen and Company Super Ionic. This time I got enough on my brush where it's 
a little bit better, but you're still gonna direct those shimmers so it's gonna leave, you know, kind of like a trail-ish look to it. It settles pretty nice though. It's really pretty, so super ionic by Kathleen and Company. We'll do another coat of Crazy Rick and then we'll bring on another one here. Second coat is definitely bringing out that warm blue, almost running turquoise color. So that's that one. I feel like blues and greens on cameras do not look quite right, but. This one's gonna be Night Owl Lacquer. It's been called Surreal Lights. Look at this polish. It is like, the in person it looks like a deep plum purple with green, blue, turquoise shifting flakies. And for you, it looks like just the green, turquoise, whatever, but. It also looks like it has some, I'm not sure if it's purple or hollow or gold colored shimmer to it. It's really pretty. Okay, I'm about to find out. So Night Owl Lacquer, Surreal Lights. Ooh, it's like a blue, it's almost like a black base. But if you've ever swatched hair nail polishes before, a black base could be purple, could be really much about anything because. So I'll start out with this. It's almost like a, it's definitely like a purpley turquoise shift. Might be a black base. Definitely show the black on camera. We're just gonna work it through it. Work through it, all right. Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna have just exactly enough fingernails for these polishes. We're gonna put in a coat of this one. It's gonna be Bluebird Lacquer. This one's called One and a Melon. If you remember the movie um, Miss Congeniality, they played One in a Million. That song, One in a Million. Da, da, da. Anyway, um, that's what this name of this polish reminds me of. <laughs> Oofta, that is wow pigmented and super bright because it's almost like <laughs> I've never seen a watermelon this bright pink before but the pink with the they're almost like green shifting flakies green blue you can see it super cool color yeah, there. Super nice. All right, let's go back and put a third coat of this Penelope Lou's Crazy Rick polish. And you paint these in however many coats you're happy with. This is three coats. Crazy Rick right here. Definitely doesn't show up quite as warm on camera as it is in real life. It's more of like a, it's not a, like a baby blue. It's definitely like more of a turquoise, like a really light turquoise-y, almost like an April birthstone background color. Really pretty. We'll put a second coat of Surreal Lights by Night, Night Owl Lacquer. Ooh. So it's this one right here, and that is gorgeous. Now it's gonna show up more green on camera, but in real life it is definitely pulled a little, plenty of purple. Ooh. 
Those pretty multicolor shifting flakies. It's gorgeous. It reminds me of the Northern Lights. If you've ever seen them. Put a second coat of Bluebird lacquers, one in a melon. Ooh, that really added like a vibrancy to that. It's almost a magenta color. It's like pulling purple. Now, it's this one right here. And then we're gonna swatch a first coat on our last and final polish here. This is gonna be Black Dahlia Lacquer Fusion. Oof, no, you can't see any. Fusion, Black Dahlia Lacquer. So let's put a first coat of that down. They have a nice long brush because their polish bottle is super long. Now this is just like the most beautiful purple shimmer with like kind of green pink shifting shimmer flakes. It's, I don't know if I'll be able to do it this on camera. So gorgeous. Holy wowzers. So here's the first coat right here. Right there. Look at that. It was so pretty. I knew there was a reason why I got it. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. There's just something that's just so striking about it. <clears throat> All right, third and final coat of the Surreal Lights. It's definitely pulling more green turquoise -y, but then if you shift it to the side, it shifts purple. So this one right here. So super pretty. Second coat of da Black Dahlia Lacquer Fusion. So that's a second coat there. Super pretty. I get it too close, it doesn't want to focus on it. Super nice. Let's do a third and final coat of Bluebird Lacquer. One in a melon. I just love this. Our mom. I was painting her toenail. She's in the hospital right now. Um, Anyway, she, uh, I was painting her toenails and she said that looked like a summer color. So pretty. Definitely will be painting my toes that color this summer. I might do this winter too. I know no, no nail polish rules when it comes to fingernail polish. I just polish whatever I want to. Third and final coat here on this Black Dahlia polish, and honestly, I don't think it even nearly needed it. Um, the sun was almost good after one, for sure after two. Three was just like gravy here, so. That one. Super pretty. It's gorgeous. Very pretty, wow. I really like that. All right, that's it. That's all I've got for the August polish pickup for Weird Science. Um, hope you guys enjoyed these swatches and I will be back with, I have some for September. I have one for, our, I have a bunch for September. I have one for October because I missed the deadline to order, but I did obtain one from a swatcher. And then I have the MLF, Lacquers, Halloween, 
um, advent calendar that I would like to swatch for you guys because there's some really cool polishes there. Although those you would not be able to get, I don't think anymore. Um, but maybe just still be fun to see them and I still want to have them swatched on wheels so that I can use them for that. So anyway, um, yeah. So that's where we're at with that. And uh, yeah, until the next video, hope you guys have a good night. Bye.